Today we bring you the story of Victor Frankenstein, a man of science who brought a creature to life. That creature was a human being. A human being possessed with intellect and sensibility. A human being who trod the face of the earth alone and desolate. A human being who faced rejection and mistrust. A creature whose creator was unable to comprehend its transcending significance, its fundamental values, and its unyielding commitment to being understood, accepted, and duly acknowledged. Today we bring you the story of a man who dared steal the divine fire which feeds human ingenuity. The nature of its preservation, a matter of life and death, as well as the measure of its success, remains for you to be judged. Enjoy. On this, the day of my departure, I say farewell to all of you, my dearest ones. When I come back, I will do so as an accomplished gentleman. My son, accomplished as you already are, your family is certain that a period spent among people whose customs are different will enrich you as an individual and open your eyes to new ideas. You have my blessing, and I believe your mother's also. It seems like yesterday that I was holding you in my arms, and now it is time to bid farewell and wait for your return. Keep our remembrance alive and write those letters we were promised, Victor. Good luck, brother. Make new friends and secure a good standing in the city. Although it is saddening to see you go, we celebrate that this temporary departure is for your own betterment. Thank you, father. Do not worry, mother. I will return earnest before you realize I am gone. What say you, Elizabeth? Will I be missed? You know you will, Victor. You know I will miss you every waking hour. And hardened as your countenance may appear to be, I am certain that you will miss me too. Come here, my friend. You will not be rid of me so easily. It is my definite intention to persuade my father to let me join you at Ingolstadt. Expect my arrival in just a few months' time. Sir, it is young William. He wishes to say goodbye. By all means, Justin, bring the boy to me. Big brother, where are you going? Why do you have to leave? Are you not happy in your home? <sniffs> stay. <sniffs> stay, please. Change your mind and stay. Do not be upset, young mister. Come here. My poor little William. It is my wish to understand how the world works. Only in that way will I be able to answer all of your questions. Would you not like that? <coughs> yes. Then my leaving is requisite. But do not stay too long. That much I can promise. Well, my coach is waiting. I love you all. Goodbye, sweet child. Goodbye, dear Elizabeth. Goodbye. Farewell. Adieu. Observe the magnificence of the human body. Bones, tendons, sinews, arteries, organs, not one piece is out of place. But find the right spot and the whole edifice will crumble. Professor, is it not true that recent experiments have managed to reanimate dead tissue? Yes, Monsieur Frankenstein, that seems to have been the case. Italian ingenuity knows no bounds. Do you think it possible, then, to reanimate dead bodies? You're being nonsensical, Frankenstein. Death is an irreversible process. 
No philosopher's stone or panacea will save you from it. <laughs> Monsieur Frankenstein, do come in. I hope you have not found our scheduled appointment inconvenient. Not at all, Professor. I was looking forward to our meeting. Professor Krem tells me that you are by far the most advanced of his students, although perhaps not the best liked by your peers. I must admit, Professor, that his assessment is quite true. Pay no mind to those who are immature and behave childishly, and please do not pay attention to Monsieur Kremp's aloofness. I can assure you that he speaks very highly of your talents, despite being incapable of expressing his compliments out loud. I believe that Professor Kremp did not much like my views on reanimation lately. Why? What are they? I hold the rather heterodox view that death is just a transitory state, and that, as long as the essence is preserved, one may come, or bring others, back from it. If I may, Monsieur Frankenstein, I would advise you to invest the same degree of application to your private interests as to your medical studies. One may eventually be conducive to the other. Do not despair. Times will be propitious. That is precisely what I intend to do. I will explore unknown powers and unfold to the world the deepest mysteries of creation. I am grateful to you, Monsieur Waldman, and I will feel honored if you would accept me as your disciple. I will Prove that what they believed unthinkable is indeed possible. You, my creation, will be living testimony of the reversibility of death. All will be in awe of your magnificence, and I, your father, will redefine the principles of life. You live, you live. Come to me, creature. Come to your master. I look at you and cannot see perfection, but disaster. My desires have not been fulfilled. My efforts have gone to waste. Away, away, monster, I disassociate myself from you. Consider our union dissolved. You dishonor me, I dispel you, banish from my sight. My mistakes have been very grave. There is no way back now. What a catastrophe. My vision blurs. My legs cannot support me. I... I... <sighs> Henry, I will be eternally grateful for your assistance. Doubtless Victor would have perished if it were not for your timely arrival at Ingolstadt. He has been delirious since he awakened from his catatonic slumber, and only in his sleep that he stopped cursing himself for his many supposed crimes. What are we to do, father? We must be strong, earnest, and assist him until he recovers. You're right, Elizabeth. Excess study and high fevers can prove insupportable for the human frame. Let him rest, therefore. I will be at his bedside, lest he awakens. It is time for celebration. Our crops have sustained us through the winter. There is plenty of wood to keep us warm, and in spite of having been dishonored and expelled from our motherland, 
We are now joyful and together. To your health. To your health, father. I was the cause of your dishonor, my lord. My presence here should not be welcome. <laughs> Come, dear Safi. Far from being the reason of our destituteness, you shine bright, and you are our beacon. That is what we all feel, sister. Let us forget the past, my love. Some fresh air will do us good. Rest a while, my father. We will return by supper time. I will stay then and wait for your return. I am a wanderer, seeking refuge and the protection of some friends. Would you, my lord, offer me shelter? Our abode is humble, but I can offer you shelter. Please sit beside me. As I am blind, we will need to wait until my children return to make you feel more comfortable and prepare you a hot meal. Thank you for your generosity. You said you seek refuge and protection. What is the name of your protectors? They are foreigners, my lord. Germans? No. French, but they have been unfairly exiled. How curious. What is their name? It is you, my lord. Do not forsake me. I implore you, save me. Who are you? Father, what is the meaning of this? Ah! Help! Help! What is happening? Why this shrieks? Miserable devil, leave my family alone. Go and never come back. Do not move, father. I have no protectors in this world. Again, I am alone. I have been mistreated by those whom I have helped. That will be no more. I will go in search of he who made me. Should he cast me off anew, I will destroy him or be destroyed in the attempt. I have lost track of time. Everyone must be worried. Perhaps they are looking for me. Warmth led to slumber and slumber to sleep. I think I am justified. Do you not think so, little squirrel? Stop hiding behind that bush. Reveal yourself to me. Come here, child. I need directions and you will help me. What are you? Let me go. Let me go immediately. You fear me, but you are not the only one. Answer my demands and I will let you live. Monster, you want to eat me? Let me go. Silence. You will not go anywhere. End your screams. Papa. I see. My natural compass was right. My enemy is close. You shall be my first victim. <coughs> Prepare yourself, my creator. The time of your destruction is nigh. Where is my darling William? Have you seen him? The shadows of dusk are approaching. I will enter the forest and find him. There is no reason to worry. Wait, my friend. Stay here in good company. I am fully recovered. I will be looking for little William myself. Be quick, Victor. Return soon, my love. I will, Elizabeth. We will be back before the sun sets. William! William! 
Awake, brother. Awake. Who did this? The child was insolent. He had to be punished. You, devil, you have been haunting me for much too long. It was you who caused my delirium and kept me on the verge of death for months on end. Curse you. I am here to redress the evil that you have operated, disguising it as thirst for discovery. You did reject me. You have denied me. You will beg for forgiveness. I would sooner engage in mortal battle than kneel before you. You may have been my creator, but I am your master. Obey. Vector, stop both of you. Surrender. I am invulnerable. I shall make you miserable. No, no. Curse the hour of your birth, creator. You are now alone in the world. Revenge will keep you alive. Prepare yourself. Hide in the confines of this earth. I will chase after you, monster. And it will be I who destroys you first. <laughs> Dear Margaret, the situation on deck worsens by the hour. I feel that a mutiny is brewing behind my back. If the weather does not change, I will have no option but to retrace my own steps and return home unsuccessful. The masses of ice impede our every movement. The North Pacific Sea remains a mirage for your brother, the frustrated expeditioner. Wait, someone is at the door. I will continue our correspondence as soon as I have a moment to spare. Your loving brother, Robert. Captain, we have seen some move in the barren plains. The deckmaster claims two men on sledges are raising one another. Lead the way. We shall see. There, Captain. They're getting closer. They will be engulfed by the tempest if they keep advancing. The man of gigantic stature has passed over that chasm. It would be suicide for the second to continue his pursuit. Bring him to me. Yes, Captain, right away. I will not allow you to perish on the open sea. Please explain who you are and what you're going after so stubbornly. Who I am is immaterial. What I'm after, I am not at liberty to divulge. Restrain your natural curiosity for your own good. You must promise me only one thing that you will destroy the one you saw earlier. He will try to persuade you, but do not listen. Do not fall under his spell. Swear that after I am gone, he shall not live. You must explain yourself further. Time is of the essence. Swear it, Walton. Swear that you will do as I have instructed. I swear. The spirits of the dead are calling me. F -f Farewell. Here lies my last victim. My demoniacal design is complete. <laughs> Two creatures. Alike in dignity, horrendously bound to gnaw at each other's flesh. We have been relentless and unthinking. Our vision was clouded, our senses ensnared by false illusions. Come, create. 
we must depart. Our strife is no more. Our existence is consumed. Our hellish determination is finally appeased. Let us be borne away by the waves and lose ourselves in the darkness. <laughs>